Hey everyone, so here's a question from exercise 6.3. This is first question. This is integer chapter of class 6 and the question here is 35 minus 20. So here we're going to subtract integers and we have learned already in the previous exercise how to add integers. Now before we go ahead with the subtraction of integers, we have to learn about the additive inverse. Now what is this additive inverse? Now suppose I have a number minus 4. Now to this minus 4, what I should add to get the answer 0? So if I add 4 to this, I'll get the answer 0, right? The both are opposite sign, but same number. When you add them, they cancel out each other, we get the answer 0. So you can see that additive inverse of minus 4 is 4. Like you can see we have a same number, but the signs are opposite. Similarly, suppose if I take a positive number, let us take 2. So what is the additive inverse of 2? So additive inverse of 2 will be again the same thing. To with 2, what we should add to get 0? So if I add minus 2 to this, the both numbers cancel out each other and we'll get 0 as the answer. So additive inverse of 2 is minus 2. So if they ask you what is the additive inverse of any number, it will be the same number with opposite sign. Okay, Like for example, additive inverse of minus 6 will be 6. Additive inverse of 11 will be minus 11. Just change the sign, it will be the same number with the opposite sign. Now, we require this concept of additive inverse to subtract integers. Let's start with the first one. The first one we have 35 minus 20, right? Now, so when you're subtracting an integers, it's like uh, you are adding additive inverse of a number which is being subtracted. Means here the second number or the number which is being subtracted here is 20. Yes. So what we're gonna do here is. Instead of subtracting 35 minus 20, though both are positive integer, I'm just explaining the rule how to subtract two integers. Now, to subtract these two integer, instead of subtracting, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add. Which number we're gonna add? I'm gonna add the additive inverse of a number which is being subtracted. Here, 20 is being subtracted from 35. So instead of subtracting, I'm gonna add the additive inverse of the second number or the number which is being subtracted which means the first number will remain same which will be 35 okay like I said instead of subtracting we're gonna add it so instead of minus I'm gonna put a plus sign and I'm gonna add the additive inverse of 20 20 is a positive number so its additive inverse will be minus 20 okay it's very simple whenever you're subtracting a two integers what you're gonna do here is instead of minus sign you put plus sign in whatever the second number you have the number which is being subtracted you just write the additive inverse of it and then you just follow the rule of addition like how you add two integers you follow that rule now here we have 35 and we have minus 20 we're adding a two different integers with the opposite sign like the signs are different so when you have a different signs you have to subtract the numbers you might have learned that when you're adding a two integer with the same sign that is plus plus or minus minus you have to perform addition and the sign will remain same if they have a different sign then you have to do subtraction and the sign will be the number uh, the greatest number whatever sign it has we're gonna put that sign here so we're gonna subtract these two integers because the signs are different so 35 minus 20 when you subtract you'll get the answer 15 now like I mentioned the sign will be of the number which is greater so here 35 is greater you have you don't look at the signs just look, compare the numbers 35 and 20 don't take minus 20 just take the number 35 and 20 35 is greater the sign is positive so I'm gonna put positive sign so it's very simple whenever you're subtracting an integers instead of subtracting them we're gonna add them what you're gonna add you're gonna add with a uh, the number which is being subtracted you're gonna add with the additive inverse of the number which is being subtracted now it will be very simple to solve the further problems now the second one here we have is 72 minus 90 again so I'm not gonna subtract I'm gonna add 
are going to add the first number with the additive inverse of the second number. So additive inverse of 90 will be minus 90. Now I'm going to follow the rule of addition. Now since both integer have a different sign, one is 72 and second is minus 90, they have a different sign. So we have to subtract because if they have a different sign, subtraction. So 90 minus 72 when you do, we'll get the answer 18. Now what will be the sign? Which number is greater here? 72 or 90? It's 90 and 90 sign here is negative. So the final answer is going to be a negative or it's minus 18. The next one. It's minus 15 minus minus 18. Again, instead of subtracting, I'm going to add. So don't change the number. The first integer will remain same, minus 15. Now, instead of minus, I'm going to put plus. And instead of subtraction, I'm going to do addition. We have to add the additive inverse of the second number. Second number here is minus 18. The additive inverse will be 18. Just the same number with opposite sign will be the additive inverse. Now we're going to add them. So you can see the integer have a different sign. A different sign means subtraction. So 18 minus 15 is 3. Now what will be the sign here? Which number is greater? 18 is greater and sign is positive. So answer will be plus 3 or you can just simply write down 3. Now the next one is minus 20 minus 30. So instead of subtracting, we're going to add the additive inverse of the number which has been subtracted. So the first integer will remain same. So instead of subtraction, we're going to do addition with the additive inverse of 13. Additive inverse of 13 will be minus 13. Now you can see that both integers have a same sign. Both are minus minus. So whenever it's a same sign, we have to add. So 20 plus 13 will be 33. And then you have to put the same sign or the number which is greater. Since both the numbers are negative and 20 is greater, we have to put minus sign. Or you can just simply put the same sign because anyway both the numbers have a negative sign, right? So it will be the same sign, minus. So you don't have to compare which number is greater because both are negative. Then the next one. So we have here is 23 minus minus 12 so first integer will remain same which is 23 instead of subtraction we're going to add with the additive inverse of the minus 12 additive inverse of minus 12 is 12 now just simply add because both no, both integer are positive so same sign means addition so 23 minus 12 will be 35 and since both integer are like positive the sign will also be a positive so it's plus 35 you can simply write down 35 then the last one, minus 32 minus minus 40. So this is equal to, first integer will remain same. Instead of subtraction, we're going to add with additive inverse of minus 40, which will be 40. Now, you can see that this integer have a different sign. One is positive, one is negative. Different sign means we have to subtract. So 40 minus 32 will be 8. Now which number is greater here? 32 or 40? 40 is greater and sign is positive. So it will be plus 8 or simply 8. So that's it. We have done all the problems. So it's very simple. Only thing is instead of subtracting, we're going to add with additive inverse of the number which is being subtracted here. I hope this is clear. If in case you have further questions or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.